wherever you guys are in your neck of the woods, be it morning, noon, or night, I hope you guys are having a good one, because I sure am. It's a beautiful, beautiful fall day here. Uh, it's in the 50s, and uh, yep, get the old plaid shirts out. Anyways, uh, what are we going to do with these? Well, we're going to take this, 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 and this is going to become our project for the day. What I basically got here is a piece of two inch pipe, about eight inches long. Actually, I think this piece is about eight and a half inches long. The length doesn't really matter as long as you don't go too, too long, but I wouldn't go anything shorter than eight inches up to a foot or so. Uh, as you can see, I've got some holes here. These are three quarter inch holes. You can use a spade bit, uh, a uh, auger bit, various types of bits to get that taken care of. Anything that you're drilling in pipe or anything like that, you've got to make sure that the pipe is secured in a vise of some sort, preferably a pipe vise. Just secure it very well uh, because if you don't, this thing is going to come whipping around at you and, well, you're going to be visiting the emergency room. That's all there is to it. Anyways, uh, so you get your hole, you get your pipe cut, you get your holes in it. I didn't take these screws out because I've got them set exactly the way I like them. Basically, these are, I don't know if you can see these. These are self-tapping screws. Okay, they got a little drill bit on the end. And these particular screws here are uh, about three quarters of an inch. The ones I've got in here are one inch. Okay, and all you're going to do is you're going to take this piece of pipe, purchase yourself an end cap, two inch end cap, and this is all schedule 40 by the way, you need the thicker parts, trust me. Okay, then you're going to put that on here, like so, okay, all right, and then what we're going to do, we're going to take these pieces here, whoops, Okay, now you can glue these. I don't glue them for the simple reason is I like to take things apart if I need to. Okay, okay, what we have here is a three inch carriage bolt, a self locking nut. It has a nylon bushing on the inside so it'll lock itself instead of backing out. Then we have a couple washers of various different sizes. Uh, in your own instance, you can use what you want. Basically, what you're trying to do is uh, sandwich this piece of rubber, which is a, uh, a thick, heavy washer. It's a rubber washer you can get at a hardware store. And I also have a rubber washer on the inside there with a flat washer. Okay, the reason why you use the rubber, it uh, if you put metal against plastic and you start working it back and forth and stuff, you're going to crack it after a while. So anyways, you put your, your uh, carriage bolt, uh, washer and rubber on first, making sure the rubber is attached last, okay? Slide it down through the hole that you're going to drill in this two inch uh, PVC pipe cap, okay? And then you're going to put a rubber on here, a couple washers, the nut, snug it up. Now you don't want to snug it all the way, you want a little bit of play with there. For the simple reason is, what you're going to do, this will self-center it for you. Okay? Kind of run it like that slow and kind of watch it. What you're looking for is no wobble. Okay, if you get a little bit of wobble, kind of adjust it with your hand a little bit. You might have to play around snugging this up back and forth just so it'll hold its shape. Then you spin it again get it to the point where there's no wobble. Once there's no wobble, very carefully tighten that up and then it'll stay centered. That is why I didn't want to take this particular one out is because we're all centered. Okay, if you get that whole apparatus together in the drill, now I think you've guessed it by now, <laughs> this is going in here, but not green like this. Uh, I've got a few pieces of dried. Uh, most of all the corn that we've got is not dried yet. Uh, Corn dries up here very late in Maine, and it's not, uh, it's not like you guys down south, everything dries up and shrivels. So, uh, well, we've got our device here, and uh, if you want to know more about this and exactly how to put it together, you can uh, private message me, and uh, I'll give you a, a little bit better detailed 
of it and whatnot. I, like I say, I made this last year, either that or the year, I think it was actually the year before last. Can you wait? I guess not. Okay, very tightly, the first few, few inches to get yourself a handle. As you can see, takes it off pretty quick for you. Hey guys, if that helps you out at all, hey, go ahead and use it. Uh, like I say, just be careful with it. Uh, it like any kind of uh, mechanically device type thing that spins and whatnot, watch your fingers and be careful out there. Be safe. Anyways, uh, hey, uh, from the yard birds and myself, wherever you are in your neck of the woods, be it morning, noon, or night, have a good one, guys. Take care.